Hello everybody, it's me again, Funk Doc as always, and we are doing a three player game on France. This time it's me, uh, Salasphorus, whom you've seen uh, win a whole lot on this channel, and Thunder Rift, who's a player that I remember seeing around when I was on BSW before, uh, a few years back, but... Um, definitely, this is their first time appearing on this channel, Thunder Rift, uh, so I'd like to see how they play. Um, I'll bid seven for this, for plant number four. In a three-player game, it's less valuable. Ooh, Celeste pays eight. I'm very glad Celeste paid eight for it. Eight, I think, is overpriced for the four plant in a three-player game, because it's turn order advantage becomes less significant when there are only three players versus four or more. I really hope Thunder Rift doesn't bid on the three, but I imagine they will. Like, if they bid on the five, that would just be dreamy for me. If they bid the five... Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is an okay map to build last on, so I might give up the three here. Maybe. Are we sure about that, though? I'll put one click on it. I'll probably get it for this. I, th I think three is still worth four here. I think that's still a good price for it. Going first is, you know, having the best spot in the turn order, that's still a nice advantage in the three-player games. And as always on France, um, I have to, have to mention this always, of course, that Uranium starts out a lot cheaper on France compared to other maps. And the other issue is that the Eleven plant will always appear uh, first. It'll be It's always the first plant drawn in the deck after ten. Standard plays here, buying all the coal possible in order to uh, make things more expensive for the player with the 8. The 8 still gets cheap coal on this turn, though, which is nice, and though they don't buy extra, which is a mistake. You definitely want to store as much coal as possible with the 8 while still being able to afford two cities on the first turn. Le Mans kind of tempts me here for a first build. There's a big enough market here that I don't want to do the triple build Paris thing. I think I'll go with this. I'm happy Celeste first did not take Orleans. That's a city I would look at soon. Maybe Anders was better than Le Mans, though, because I imagine Thunderrift is going to build Anders and, like, Anders and Nantes here, probably. That's what they might be building. I definitely want to make sure to get to bottom in the turn order. Or Andres Tours, yeah, this works too. They might go Orleans though. Oh wow, they go that. That surprises me. I get that they want to block my building for later in the game, but I still feel like Orleans would do more now. Gets you that proximity to Paris for step two. 19, that's one of the biggest blocking plants right there. Horrible, horrible plant. At this stage of the game in particular. And now, this is why I want to be bottom. I want to force Celeste for us to either buy the 9 and drop me the 10, or pass and let me buy the 5. The 5 will be the plant I take here. Okay. They'll let me have the 10 then. Sure. I'll buy 4 coal. Yes, please. All right. 
I think I will store oil this turn because that way I can triple build. I have exactly enough money where I can build the three. I can go for uh, Orleans and Anjers, get me the best position for later in the game. Because that gives me in a good position to take Rens, which at least gives me this uh, breast here. It's just a really expensive city, but just if I need it. I really want that Paris connection. I'm going to go top in the turn order next turn anyway. Ooh, 14 in. That's going to be big. In That's going to make my 10 more valuable if I uh, if I miss out on the 11 here. Although I'll definitely want to fight for the 11. 46 and 33. I uh, miss uh miswrote that earlier time to put this up and fight for it we got the 20 but that's a that's a few plants away at least 11 still going to be worth a lot of money here i could see this reaching you know 20 or higher especially with these next two plants showing after it just awful awful So the issue here is Thunder Rift gets a lot of cities to themselves, but it's all like really expensive shit. See, now I feel like Okay, if it, when it, once it went past 20, like, I'm more willing to pass on it now because of me having the 10. That's going to give me, like, that puts me in a better situation to afford, that I can afford not paying big for the 11, because the 10 will also be, you know, a solid plant for this point in the game. And also, like, the 8 with the 11 is kind of an awkward combination here. So... With how much Thunder Rift paid this turn, I have to imagine they can't build, in which case I really want to take Nantes. Because that just locks up the, uh, that gets another, you know, cheap city for me and takes away cheaper cities from them. It it, for, it forces Thunder Rift into, like, all the, the most expensive part of the map. Just look at all these 13, 12, 14 connections here. Thunder Rift is doing the right thing, though. Not buying any coal and just staying at two cities with the uranium. Celeste does not buy extra oil. Which tells me I want to store oil and the coal. All the oil and all the coal. Right? Well, no, I actually can't quite store all the oil. I have to leave one oil in the supply. In order to afford a Nantes here. Which is fine. And also the really nice thing is that with 11 belonging to the player with the 8, who's not using the 8 this turn, that helps keep coal cheaper for me. Which is huge right now. And so last first should build Paris. I think for them, their best move is to build the last part of Paris and block me from it. Although I'd still rather have not. I think the nice thing, actually, I think that's a good. That might be a good play for Celas because I need Nantes more than the empty Paris spot right now. I think, and I really would rather block Thunder Rift here. I want to stop Thunder Rift from getting into any of the cheap stuff on this map.
16, that's actually... That's actually going to be a pretty good plant right now. Which means I pass. Thunderrift will obviously pass too. Thunderrift does not need any of these plants for sure. And I think Celas will probably pass too. I mean, they're not doing too badly. Like, 4 in the 9 is actually a lot better than it could be at this point in the game. And these plants don't really... Oh, Celas does go for the 6. Interesting. That's a play you usually see when Trash goes down to $5. Because when Trash is 5, if you... Like, in this early stage of the game, if you buy the 6 plant plus 5 for the Trash, you make an extra $11. So... Buying the six break is a break-even play if you run it for one if you run it for one turn when trash is at five. When it's at six, you lose a dollar on that turn overall. Because you spend twelve dollars to make eleven. Six for the plant plus six for the trash. Although, I mean, obviously six is going to make a profit if you use it anything more than one turn, which I would expect which I would expect to be the case here. For sure. Mm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am actually going to store all the oil this turn. There is the obvious Paris build from Celas. That that had to happen. My build is working out remarkably well, by the way. Like I have a decent shot at getting seven cities in step one. And I managed to keep Thunder Rift out of all the cheap stuff, which really uh, makes their building flow tricky. They do manage to get to four here, though. Also, I guess I cost myself money buying extra coal on that turn, which is not so good. But whatever. Mm, we're okay. We are okay here. And I don't think I have any I don't think I have any reason to build further at this point. The reason I'm storing the extra oil is to give myself an advantage if I you know for winning the 16 plant on the next turn. Also I didn't see 26 was drawn. I mean 32 will finally go into the deck now. Well, time for me to fight for this plant now. 24 on the market too, dang. With the six in use, uh, that's gonna hurt 24 quite a bit, actually. Like, I can do okay with this plant because I can Mm, I can build to five cities this turn with it. I don't think it's worth that much money, though. Like, a plant 16 is kind of a middling plant, and especially with both of us running coal oil plants also. Like, oil's restock rate is lower than, co than coal's, so... And I don't think Celas will buy a plant this turn. Because five is because a plant was bought this turn, five will stay on the market. Actually, I will store the extra coal this turn, though, in case, because the idea is if Celasphorus doesn't build to five, I think I will. Although, no, wait, Thunder Rift. Thunder Rift should build to five here. I'm not too worried about uh, Celas cornering my building. That I'm not so worried about. I just, as long as I get Renz, I'm fine. So I shall not build.
Also, I forgot, Trash Restock is only one per turn in three players, so actually, as long as the six is being used here, Trash is not going to hit five, even. It's going to stay expensive. Can you really not get to five, Thunder? I thought you did. Can you build to five this turn? Can you build to five? You want to make money from that 11 plant, right? You want to get all that sweet, sweet oil and nuke money? Come on, build to five. You know you want to. I even didn't buy extra oil to keep it a little cheaper for you. Make sure you can build to five. That was actually a disaster there. That they didn't build to five. This is bad now. Ah, I assumed they would build to five, and then they couldn't. I maybe should have... Oh, shit, 18, 18. Okay, we actually get a real plant here. Oh, my God, we actually get a real plant here. Yes, yes, yes. So this did hurt Thunder's money-making a little bit. Them having... Okay, wow, and they pass an 18. Sweet. All right, I'll take it. I'll fight Celas first for this. Now we'll pass for it because this turn somebody should build the five cities so that we can maybe get that 20 on the market. And 20 is actually not looking too bad here. And again, none of these plants really help me, so. We're lucky though. Someone's going to reach five cities this turn and the five will be built off the market. Because now this is where Thunder Rift should build to five. And I'll definitely run the three again this turn, even though it barely make it does still barely make me a profit. I think like a one dollar profit and it hurts oil for the other players. Okay, that's the last for us's play. Okay, I respect that. So my builds builds did end up getting fenced in pretty hard here. Yeah, sure. So I like bid, you know, 11, 16, 18 all up to, you know, relatively high prices and passed on them. We'll see if that ends up screwing me over though. Five gets built off and now with step two happening, um, the next lowest numbered plant, that being a 14 here, will get built off as well. So 20 is obviously guaranteed to stay on the market, but we'll see if 25 comes on. Nope, not yet. So 31. Comes on the market. Well, I'm definitely building Paris first. And now we know 50 will be the next plant under the deck. 25 and 26 both in there. Hmm. Hmm. Not many plants left that are lower. Something tells me I don't want the 20, though. Seriously? You've got to be shitting me. I just, I hate, I hate the 20 with 25 in the futures market. It's, it's just, it's a plant I do not want to buy if I can avoid it. Like, I don't feel guilty about passing there, and it's biting me in the ass now, though. Stupid fucking drop. Ugh. The problem is Thunder doesn't particularly need a plant. I feel like, like, normally 23 would be the plant I would buy here, but I would actually buy the 15 instead in this situation. And just keep, uh... Just jack up coal. Plus, you know, make sure I have extra stored for the 25 next turn. That's what I want to do. Please buy a plant, Thunder Rift. Please, like, think you have to buy the 15 or something. No, which means I gotta take the damn 15. <sighs> I 
I definitely want to take all of Paris, that's for sure. I want Paris and Tours here. Block all Paris, block Tours. That's most important right now. I will store two oil on there just in case, uh, you know, 26 becomes a factor for me. I'm just going to do max buys on all this crap. Thunder Rift can, could do a lot to block Salas for us here, though. Yeah. I do. I just. I want to make 20 painful, though, because I feel like. Salasphorus is now the favorite in this game because of 20 not being bid up and a bad drop coming after with 25 and 26 in the futures market. <sighs> and I definitely will run both the 15 and the 10 this turn. I'll run I'll run those plants. I will not run the 3. Because I think regardless of what happens next, the 10 will be the next plant that I replace. Well, no, I mean, I mean, if we buy, you know, if we get 26, then, uh, you know, that'll obviously replace the three. And plus, the advantage of me taking away Paris is that it incentivizes Thunder to build into my cities more, to block Selas for us instead. Because that's like the one big weakness of Selas right now is that they, they're very much cornered in this map. Okay, that doesn't entirely block them, but it, ta I mean, it takes away some of their cheapest stuff at least. Really glad that Thunder Rift opted to buy coal and run the eight plant. That's what I like to see. Just drive up that coal, baby. Ooh, and 21. Okay. Okay. And so now, there's three bad drops that could come in after this. Are we going to get stuck with one of them? You know, if it comes down to it, I will buy the 24. Okay, this time the bad drop didn't come. Twenty-five is a much better plant for Thunder than uh, twenty-six here because of Thunder already having the sixteen. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, Thunder is just dead now. That 17 sealed it, so it's between us. The problem is Salasphorus has a really good plant. Well, not really good, but, uh, you know, solid plant combination. You know, 20, 21, eight, you know, 21, 18, all that stuff, you know, that fits together pretty well. Problem with me is I don't have a good second plant to run with my 25. That's where I'm still behind Celas. I am very glad I got 25 at cost though, because it means I can fight for 26 in the next turn.
Yeah. Just going to try to keep making life painful for Salas for us here. Like, 21 especially because of, you know, 16 and all that being in the game. 21's not a great plant at this point either because oil's also per gotten pretty expensive too. That damn 18 is going to pay off for Selass, though. Boo, Thunder's blocking me north. Boo. Okay, I'm taking La Rochelle now. I think that's the city I need next. Because that is also going to block Selas for us pretty hard here. So at least try to fence them in with building a little bit. That's really nice that, ooh, actually Selas can't build more. That's good then that Selas doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the money to use the green plant is what that suggests, which is good news for me. Definitely burning the oil now for sure. And I feel like with Selas going below me, I cannot afford to fire the fifteen at this point. Well, here's a plant I could really use. Actually, no, not so much. Step three card is going to be next. I need to think about something. If I get two turns out of 27, will it make me money? I think the answer to that's yes, if 27 comes on, which we know it's going to come on because 27 is next in the futures market. I'll actually pass on this. And here, Salasphorus does not need a four plant. Like, 28 is not going to be useful to sell us at this point. So I think it'll actually reward me to buy the 27 in this situation. I knew step three was coming, but I don't care. I feel like... like if you're only going to get two turns out of the 27, that that will actually make you money. And I might get more than two turns out of it. You know what? I will grab one more coal here. That gives me three turns worth on the 25. And I feel like three more turns is what it'll take to end this game. Actually, I don't think I need to do that, though, because Salasphorus might build above me now. So I'm actually not going to buy any extra coal here. Yep. And Celeste kind of has to build in order to, you know, make money from the green plant there. Because 20 is going to be kind of an albatross at this point in the game. Like, Celes is obviously going to run the 20 this turn, but I don't think he'll run it again until the game is over after that. So he can't really make money from that plant for the time being. So I'm going to get, you know, what? Two turns here. You know, two, even three turns I can get out of the 27 in this situation.
I will build Wrens for sure because I still stay bottom in the turn order that way. And now Breast starts to look a little more attractive. Har har. I mean, problem is all my cheapest cities left are Salasphorus' stuff. I could take Bordeaux. Bordeaux would probably be the one that hurts Celeste the most for me to build next turn. And 31 comes in. Oof. That's a plant nobody wants. I don't want 46 either. Like, I'm very glad to be bottom in this auction because I want nothing to do. Like, I don't want 46. I could mean I could take 46 here in theory. In theory, I could take 46 just because it's a seven. But I feel like that's kind of a mistake here. Yeah, I don't like this. What's, what's left in the auction? Okay, let me look at this and see. There's not a whole lot that's better though, to be honest. I'll actually bid on this. Man, there's not a lot of good plants left here. This is a motley, motley auction. Uh, yeah, these plants suck. God, these plants suck. 50 is the only really good one, though. And there is another crapper. Like, I will buy 44. Like, I might actually bid on 44 in this situation. So I feel like that's going to be the plant for Celeste for us to bid on, is 44. And I think I'll actually bid him on it. Yeah, I'll take 44, sure. I think that's the best play here, because everything else is so stupidly expensive. 33, too, wow. Look at this. A step 3 market with no 5 capacity plants, and 31 is the only 6 cap. Amazing. Let's think about this now. What do we want to build? Let me think about this. Although now actually, Thunder Rift might be in front of Celeste for us now. Like, 46 being the only 7 is a big deal. It was arguably worth bidding more, but I just think my money could handle it at this point. All right, let me see. I just, I cannot build 3, unfortunately. Um, okay, just a new map. I had to do some math here. The nice thing is I'm now ahead of Salasphorus in base capacity. That is one good advantage I have, but Thunder feels like they're in front to me. 24 is, is really good right now. Yeah, I gotta make money. I have got to make money.
Ooh, wow. Here's what I think I do, actually. I think I stay bottom here. It's my play. Here's what I'm going to do. I think I stay bottom. This is my play. Stay bottom in the turn order. Um, don't run 25 at all. I will only run my green plants this turn. I think that'll be my plan. So that I get the best chance of a 50 drop. Because 50 is is the gold at this point. 50 is the damn golden goose in this market. Because, man, these rest of these plants suck also. So, like, if I have to buy 31 or 32, I need to make sure I'm bottom to get resources safely for that plant. Very pleased that Salasphorus did not build either. That tells me that they're not as far that they weren't they don't have this big lead that I thought they did. So Thunderrifton is is in a position now where like they might as well build since they're going to be stuck at the top of the turn order next turn anyway. The problem is 46 might just be too much to make up with the the capacity. Their problem is I don't know if they can they can safely run I don't know if they can safely run any of their plants. I guess they could run 26. Like 26 plus 24 they could run. That only powers one more city than me for a lot more money spent on resources. They don't build either. All right, that makes me happy. Interesting play. I think they should run 26 and not 24 to ensure safety of resources. But yeah, I'm really feeling really damn good about my 44 right now. That's what I'm feeling. Turn order will become a lot less important after this next turn because we'll have seen everything left in the auction. It's crazy that there's only a few, like there are some four capacity plants left, but they're all really bad ones aside from 50. 50 is God tier and the rest are all bad ones. 31 and then uh, 32 and 42 are still in the deck. So just more coal and oil. Thunder is deciding which plants to fire right now. And again, I think their best option is to run just 24 and 26. Do not run 46 on this turn because you don't know that you don't know if you're going to be able to get more resources. Yep, I think that's the correct play for them. Because they couldn't store any extra resources and they're stuck at the top of the turn order. Not a good situation to be in. 27 has earned its keep for sure. There's 50. Okay. Okay. This is the big one, kids. What I think Thunderrift would want is a six plant to replace 26 and because and they want to be able to keep 24 as an in-game plant. I think it's what they want. This is going to this should go for a very high price. Because the rest of this market is just dog vomit. The rest of this market being so bad is also a big reason I opted not to build last turn. So that way, I wouldn't be under pressure to overpay for the 50. I could afford to stay at the bottom, get another plant, and get resources on it.
what I could actually do this turn is, assuming some, is, like, if there's any more bids in the 50, I think I'll pass. Well, no, this should be bid up more, right? Should be bid up more. This should be bid up more. Yeah. Because here's the thing I could do. I could buy 31 to replace 25. And just stay low in the turn order. Hmm. Is that worth it compared to 50, though? Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. 42 would actually be better than 31 for me in this situation with how expensive coal is. And yeah, Celasphorus has a problem now because they cannot afford to buy another coal plant unless it's to replace uh, its one. Celas's only option here would be like, you know, buy 31 or 42 to replace the 20. Question is, which one's better? Mm -hmm. I don't want to drop cell S32, because that would actually be safe for them. Or I don't want them to get 34 either. Like that. Just like that. the move here my clearly my move is to buy 31 i think i have to buy 31 and replace 25 okay. i think thunder is going to end up winning this game though that damn 46 i maybe should have paid more for that I mean, I'm kind of obliged, I'm kind of pot committed at this point to just buy two more coal regardless. I should block Thunder Rift now, though. I feel like I need to attack the builds for Thunder Rift as much as possible here. Because Celas is clearly behind now. I mean, I feel like Thunder had a bad early game, but I take Breast now for sure. Yeah, this works because I can easily build to, build to 14 at least. And um, 
go for Bordeaux to close this out. Celeste will safely be able to buy the 32, but I don't think he's going to win still. I feel like it's, you know, it's Thunder Rift. Like, my play might just end up being to buy 34 on the next turn and end the game. At 16 regardless, and just hope that somehow Thunder can't get to 17. I'm sure they can, though. We did what we could to make builds expensive for them, at least. Really glad I got step one uh, breast. That helps. That uh, hurts both other players nicely. I mean, Thunder Rift has paid a lot for plants throughout this game. That's the one thing that's giving me some degree of hope that maybe they can't end it. Awkward number of cities there. Because they can't fire the 24 this turn, and you really want to be able to fire the 24. And storing those extra resources in 46 is not a good sign. Interesting. They may not be as rich as I thought. I mean, it did make them pay, you know, you know, 46 wood for over 50, which is a lot for a plant that has such expensive resources. And then, and then I managed to charge them over 70, 70 bucks for the 50 plant. And we know, yeah, all the plants are gone. All right. So, I have to imagine I have a money advantage here. Although, I'm looking at cities, I mean, I do have. Cayenne left, Cayenne left as one decently cheap city. Problem is this. Um, I mean, I can put 32 up for bid and hope they don't buy out oil on me. Here's what I have to hope for. I'm going to make this stupid play. I'm just going to do this and end the game now. That's my plan. That's my safest play. If I bought 32, I risked oil being bought out. And I'm not convinced Salas for us would have the money to end the game on this turn, necessarily. We'll see if they do, though. If they actually have the money to end it, I'll be real impressed. Maybe Salas was the enemy all along. I mean, at least their remaining builds are not the cheapest in the world. Limoges is obvious. Le Mans is the other most obvious city remaining for Celas. Le Mans for sure, probably Claremont, and then they could do this. God damn it, you actually had 17. I think that speaks to Salas's earlier money lead. I really thought that 20 would cost them, cost them in the long run, but it didn't.
Thunder Rift hit 17 too. Okay, Thunder Rift's probably still gonna win, I guess. So I end up blasting this one, eh? Oh well. Oh well. Oh uh, yeah. Let's see, do I even left the bell not clear whatever? Yeah, just BR it's I guess would close it out. I still think Thunder should win this with uh, 24. 24 was actually a pretty big deal. Oh, wow, it's a tie at the top. Celas and Thunder. Wow. So ties in BSW are pretty funny because both, like, both players will get, or both or all players get a win on their record if they tie for first. So that gives a win to both of them, and I'm stuck in last. So I think I was right about my money situation. I feel like I was slightly richer than them, but the problem was I was just kind of stuck in the turn order regard. Turn order also actually builds were not great for me either because I only got five step one cities in the whole game with one of them being breast. I wasn't ready for Salas for us to build to seven cities on the turn that he did. That was a big, big move that uh, cost me. Cost me a lot of money and... You know, it cost me a lot of cheaper builds. Let me check payments. Powering 17 cities is 142. So actually, yeah, they both only had nine bucks left uh, getting to 17. All right. Interesting game, really interesting finish. I guess my best chance was to stay low in the turn order, but I feel like then I probably wouldn't win on money anyway. All right, neat game. Neat game. Congrats to Salas and to Thunder Rift. Very interesting three player. And with that, I'll bid you good night.